Star Trek Picard, uh, the last three episodes. So I'm going to go over the last three episodes, and then I'm going to talk about what I liked or didn't like about the show. So basically, uh, I was excited to see 709 hook up to the Borg Cube and become a Borg Queen, and I thought that they had a they had a really good chance to show like addiction and like how people can be addicted to things and then not want to stop doing it. And they, they kind of talked about, she kind of talked about that before she hooked herself up, but then she unhooks herself right away. So they I think they kind of missed an opportunity there to really to do, in my opinion, what Star Trek does best is to uh, take a real world allegory uh, problem people face and deal with it like a psychological problem and they didn't, they didn't really focus on that. And so I was kind of disappointed about that. I mean, the story there at the end was really quick in the things that happen. Uh, the board crew board cube, they find the big planet that they're supposed to go to. Uh, the Romulan fleet shows up. They throw Picard in jail. Uh, the, and they find the home, the androids, the androids are building a communication device to communicate to the message, the sender of the message, which is supposedly in a computer intelligence or synthetic intelligence of some kind, a non-organic intelligence, I should say. Uh, so uh, what I wanted them to do, or actually thought they were going to do with this series, and they still could do it in season two, is I thought that Picard would have to choose to reactivate his Borg implants. Uh, and the reason I thought that is because of his mental condition, that he would need the logic. He would need the logic half to focus. And so it would be a like a battle between himself. And he's an actor, I think, that could pull that off to where he's, you know, like Hamlet facing off against himself. Is he going mad? Uh like his emotional side versus his, the logic side, the locut that he would have to deal with locutus, like in his own mind or the logical conclusions that that would come to is who needs to be sacrificed and things like that. Uh, and I think he's an actor that could pull that off, but they didn't do that. Uh, they didn't do that whole inner battle that you could have with yourself, almost like a good versus evil, but this would be organic versus inorganic. Right. Uh, and he would have to, have to rely on it for the logical parts to, for the visions he's seeing that aren't real and things like that. And I thought they were going to do that with the show. And I, that's, it would be a character study. They said, they mentioned in the promos that it's a character study, but it wasn't, there wasn't much of that that happened in the show, which I was disappointed about. So uh, at first I was thought it was going to be like lion in winter and it wasn't that. And then I thought, well, they're going to do, you know, a character piece where it's him, you know, the emotion versus the logic. And he's, playing both parts. Like in the original series, you had Spock and Kirk, who different characters playing those roles. And I thought that they were going to do that with this show, but he would be playing both roles, right? He would, uh, in his mind, be seeing Locutus to tell him to do these things uh, that may be bad, but, you know, when you take emotion out of it, maybe they're the right thing to do. Uh, but no, none of that happened. So I was disappointed. And again, they could still do that in season two, uh, because his body dies, they could, and there's a board cube on the planet where he dies. Like if they bury him in the board cube and then the, you know, then that turns on Locutus, right? Then it would be a physical manifestation of, well, there you have Locutus versus, you know, what Picard has become now because his physical body is passed away. So his emotional intelligence would be in this new synth body and his electronic intelligence, right? Locutus would be in the, and it would be physically on screen representation of what could have been gone going on in his head, uh, the season one, which again, they didn't do that, but I, I wish they would have to me. That's what star Trek's all about is the, those types of problems. And the other thing I thought they were going to do, uh, and they could have done this again with the same argument of emotion versus non-emotion is when they have the Romulans. They have the Romulans in the episode, in the show. And they could have talked about the split between the Vulcans and how that happened and how 
the Vulcans chose logic and how the Romulans chose emotion. And then it became, they split off and had this big, like they have the, they have the story there, the basics of the story there, the emotion versus logic split. And Picard would be the embodiment of that, of Locutus versus himself. And then of that same type of argument. Uh, so that you could have Locutus siding with the Vulcans and then, you know, Picard siding with the Romulans because, and then, you know, you could represent that on the show. They didn't do any of that. Like they literally had all that in front of them to just piece together and it would have been brilliant. And I think it could have been well done, but they didn't do any of that. Again, they could still do that in season two. I hope that is what they do in season two. I don't, I don't think that's what they're going to do. I have no idea what they're going to do, but I mean, that's what I would do as a writer is just use this vehicle that they've created to, to really, you know, uh, delve into the issues that people have with mental illness, that people have with addiction, that people have with, you know, and it would be great. I mean, they could really do that. And they, using Cy, uh, Star Trek as a backdrop. Uh, anyway, that's where I would want it to go and what I would want them to do, but uh, we'll see, I guess. But overall, I would give it a six out of 10 total. Uh, the first two episodes were great. And then the very last episode was really good. In, in between, there was a lot of what I thought was filler was just kind of getting the story, forcing the story to go from this point to this point, just because they want it to. And I did like the, the guest, the guest spots from Brent Spiner and from Frakes, Jonathan Frakes, Marina Sirtis. Like I loved those episodes just to get to see them again, but you never got to see them all together, you know, all of them at once. So that was kind of disappointing, I guess a little bit, but uh, like in season two, I would want them to get all get together for like one or two episodes. And again, to do that type of dichotomy, uh, to show emotion versus non-emotion and, and that type of stuff. So uh, it was a bit disappointing. It ended in a disappointing note for me and it, it, I didn't mind them having all these secrets that they didn't expose or talk about. It didn't bother me as much as to me, it seems like a lost opportunity that they could have done with the show and they didn't. So if you like my content, please like subscribe and thank you for watching.